Katie with RIA Health and welcome to our Ask a Doctor series. I'm here today with Dr. Mendelson. He is a part of our medical team here at RIA and Dr. Mendelson has over 30 years of experience in treating people with alcohol use disorder. Dr. Mendelson, the question we have for you today is on the topic of the medication naltrexone. How is it that it works to help someone who wants to cut back on their alcohol consumption? Yeah, it's a, that's a wonderful question because, you know, scientists have, we have some ideas on how it works, but it's a little non-intuitive. Uh, first, about naltrexone. Naltrexone is an opiate antagonist. What that means is it blocks the effect of drugs like, like hydrocodone, which is Vicodin or Norco, or oxycodone, which is an oxycontin, or fentanyl, or even heroin. Blocks all those drugs. So what that have to do with drinking alcohol? Well, it turns out when you drink, you actually get levels of what are called endorphins, and everyone's heard of those, but those are what are called endogenous opiates. They rise in particular levels of the brain, and the naltrexone blocks the effects when those when those endogenous opiates rise in your brain. So what, what occurs is that you drink, you release these endorphins, and you, they, you experience those as some of the pleasure of drinking, some of the pleasure of drinking. So, so that's very interesting, doctor, you say, but how does it actually work? What's the connection between under the pleasure that you get from drinking, which is blocked slightly by naltrexone, and how much you drink? And so I think a, 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 good, a, a good analogy, one of, one of the things I've been interested in for many years in my research, and, and, and uh, many of my colleagues are interested in, is, is why does, you know, how, how could altering one dynamic part of the response to alcohol affect your interest in drinking at all in all times? And the answer is that, is that it turns out when we do most things in life, there's a balance between pleasure and displeasure. So if we drink, if we drink, you know, if we, if let's not take drinking, let's take eating. If we, if we're going to a restaurant and the food is really awful, even if you're hungry, you don't eat as much. But if the food is really good, you eat more than you should. And I've certainly done that many times. I eat more than I should almost every time I go out to dinner. So again, so naltrexone, what naltrexone would do is it would take that really good meal and make it less pleasurable. It would give you less, and you get the same response, by the way, if you, you eat food or do other things that are fun. It does cause the endogenous opiates in our brain to rise, though through a different mechanism. It's not de-repressing them, it's actually signaling them to go, to go forward. So naltrexone works by shifting the balance between, between the pleasure of drinking and the displeasure of drinking to a, to, to a more neutral place. Many people who drink, they drink, they, they, they drink in excess because they never get the they never get the stop signal. They keep getting this the go signal, the pleasure signal. And and the stop signal is there, they know it the next morning, they have a hangover, they they they, they know it even at the time they're drinking. So the, so so to say things a little differently, the really interesting question about people with drinking problems is not that they drink, it's that they is is it's the point they stop at. And now Trexone changes that stop point so that you can stop easier. It, it, if it, it doesn't work in everyone, unfortunately, but for people who it works in it, really absolutely adjust that, 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 that point so they, they don't feel a need to, to continue doing something, which part of them is saying to stop and is, is not pleasurable. Okay, great. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on the topic of alcohol use disorder and medication assisted treatment, please post it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe for regular video content. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.